Today, it would be considered inhumane to transport people 14,000 kilometres from their homes for petty crimes like theft of clothing or the theft of a chicken. But in 18th century Britain, it became reality. In 1787, Britain sent approximately 770 criminals to the untamed and virtually unknown east coast of Australia. The reasoning for such drastic measures was to free up space in Britain's overcrowded prisons and to deter the increasing number of felons from committing more crimes and adding to the general state of immorality in London. A secondary purpose for sending the convicts and building a colony was access to timber to aid in shipbuilding for the Royal Navy. Most of the convicts had become city dwellers, resorting to a life of crime after they and their families were forced out of agricultural work by the rise of machine labour. They arrived in January 1788, initially calling it Botany Bay, where 18 years earlier James Cook and the Endeavour had landed. But the bay was far from ideal for settlement, and within eight days the first fleet anchored in Port Jackson to unload its human cargo. The convicts of the first fleet had been locked below deck for almost all of the 252 day journey total of 48 people perishing during the trip. Captain Arthur Phillip, the commander of the First Fleet, wrote that Port Jackson was the finest harbour in the world. But the convicts had little opportunity to enjoy the beauty of the harbour. They were far from home in a distant and barbarous country, unlikely to see family again. 